Hi guys, this is GWN Network here, and today, I'm on part 36, uh, is it part 35 or 36 or 37, part 37, and today, on this part, Today, I'm gonna keep breaking down more dirt uh, so I can. This is part 37. I'm still in the beginning phase of constructing the cardio room. I'm still in the begin- I'm still in the beginning phase of construction of the cardio room. This is still the early- uh, the, This is still day one. Uh, this is still the early phase of construction. This is still the early... <clears throat> After the cardio room is finished. Once the cardio room is finished, <clears throat> there's going to be a stationary bike. Like, the description of the cardio room is it's going to have a treadmill, an elliptical, a stationary bike, as well as a rowing machine. As well as a ro uh, is a rowing machine. Each block would represent one inch. One square inch. More like one cubic inch. One 
one cubic inch. This is what it represents. One cubic inch of space. I'm going to need some tips on how to increase my hemoglobin levels on a vegan diet. Comment on some tips, please. If, if you'd like. Because I'm trying to minimize the exploitation of animals while still trying to be healthy. In compassion uh, with in caring for an animal of a different species, that's nature. Sometimes you see cats e caring for squirrels, even though cats are predators, and squirrels are a source of food for cats. Ironically enough, Not all vegans are the stereotypical soy boy. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. look at vegan gains. He follows a vegan diet and has a shit ton of muscle. He's got a lot more muscle than I do. But that's okay. And he is obviously a natural lifter. He is a natural lifter. Robert Cheek's another vegan bodybuilder. He is also a natural lifter, too. He didn't eat meat to build that muscle. He did it all on a plant-based diet. Gladiators followed mostly a plant-based diet to begin with, yet they were still able to fight and not get sick. <laughs> and in the post-antibiotic world, we're probably going to have to go vegan. In the post-antibiotic world. 
we want it to be healthy. Once I open up my PO box, one thing I encourage you to send me in the fan mail would be vegan B12 and D3 supplements. Like, make sure it doesn't have any, like, make sure it doesn't have any gelatin before you mail it. Also make sure it doesn't have any honey. Hardline vegan, uh, like I'm a very strict vegan. Uh, like when it goes, how strict of a vegan am I? So strict that I would stay the hell away from honey. with getting too lean, it, like, 0% body fat lean is your bones could deteriorate. Just like how having too much belly fat can lead to musculoskeletal diseases, being very lean can do the same thing. All animal cells are made of cholesterol. If your body cannot produce cholesterol, you're fucked. You are totally fucked. Without any cholesterol produced. And humans only have animal cells. All animal cells are made of cholesterol. Mutations in a gene called 70-HCR can cause something called smith limley opitz syndrome. Also known as Sloss syndrome. Acronym SLOS is an acronym for Smith Limley Opit Syndrome. <laughs> it's actually an acronym for Smith Limley Opit Syndrome. Almost everyone. Most of us who are alive today don't have the mutation in the 70-HCR gene. Most people who have smith limley opitz syndrome often die before birth or shortly after birth.
smith lumley opitz syndrome is an autosomal recessive disorder. It's caused by a genetic defect. The defect in the gene called 70HCR. If you're wondering, 70HCR is an acronym for, 7 for an enzyme called 7-dehydrocholesterol reductase. The gene associated with that enzyme, you, you need a fully functioning form of that gene in order to survive. Without any cholesterol in your body, all your cells would break down. The result of the defect in this uh, gene called 70HCR, most people with smith lemley opitz syndrome often die before birth or shortly after birth. It's not just one out of a hundred people who have that gene. Almost everyone who is alive today has the non-mutated form of 70HCR. If that gene is defective, you're fucked. Most babies with smith lemley opitz syndrome often die before they're even born. Your body produces as much cholesterol as necessary. My goal is to reduce my serum cholesterol as much as I can. In smith lumley opitz syndrome, of those who do survive, a lot of times they'll never be independent. Like, they'd have to be... Obviously, they'd have to be in an IEP setting. Individualized education plan. I took... Pro I was... I had an individualized education plan when I was in school. Mainly due to my autism. You know, prolonged radiation exposure, like to gamma radiation, can put you at a greater risk for al developing Alzheimer's. It can actually put you at a greater risk for developing Alzheimer's.
Facebook won't let anyone under the age of 13 create a Facebook account, except they're not allowed to let anyone under the age of 13 do that. They're not allowed to let anyone under the age of 13. Make a Facebook account. This is for the protection of our children. From human traffickers. And online predators. I'm personally against human trafficking. Yeah, I do support underground railroads that'll help people escape from totalitarian regimes. Politically, I'm kind of similar to George Orwell. I'm kind of like George Orwell. But unlike him who is a li uh, liberal, I'm kind of more of libertarian.
And if Orwell was still alive, I'd rather have him for president instead of that orange billionaire with tiny hands. And fake hair. Instead of that orange billionaire with tiny hands and fake hair. Or maybe I... I might think about... I'd rather have a choice of George Orwell or Joe Rogan. What we need to do to prevent mass shootings is invest more in mental health. to also reduce poverty around the world and to increase the availability of food around the world because some sometimes what drives people into resorting to breaking the law they need food in order to survive they need food or else they could starve to death When there's famine, people have no choice but to resort to crime. Just to keep... Like, in some cases, people have actually fought to the death over food. In the famine. And in fact, some actually resorted to cannibalism. Especially with Mao Zedong's cultural revolution. <laughs> the main reason why I criticize the Eastern Bloc... Part, a lot of it has to do with Stalinism. The fact that you cannot achieve true socialism without utilizing direct democracy. Like, without utilizing democracy. You cannot achieve true socialism without utilizing democracy. also cannot achieve true socialism without protecting our civil liberties. Nationalism is completely against so uh, against socialism. What we need is cosmopolitanism, meaning not just planet uh, 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 like spread the ideology around the world, but also once we colonize other systems, spread it all over the system. forcing Islam onto an atheist population or Christian population. If they want to be atheist, that's fine. If they want to be Christian, uh, if they want to practice Christianity, that's fine. If they want to be atheist, that's fine. But don't force them to change, the, and don't forcibly convert them. Because it's not very nice. If they want to be Muslim, that's fine. If they want to be Christian, that's fine. If they want to be atheist, that's fine. It's up to them.
What America needs to do is give up the Electoral College and bring it closer to a direct democracy. Kind of like how Switzerland is. If you support a bill and it becomes popular, it should become law instead of just leaving it, uh, uh, keeping it under wraps. Because that's how Switzerland's political system is. Khrushchev, what I think of Khrushchev, he helped destalinize Russia, as well as the rest of the USSR. Maoism is a form of Stalinism, as well as North Korea's official ideology called Chuche. Call North Korea a Stalinist dictatorship. Like, based on the ideas, like, North Korea is basically. Ideology is basically a form of national Bolshevism. It's it's basically a form of national Bolshevism. And Stalinism is actually a form of national Bolshevism. we need is, like, one thing people don't realize is that if we, if we don't leave profit and keep profits in check, then the economy would go towards fascism if we don't keep profits in check. The rate in which you make profits, is, like, my plan is to keep it in check. Anyways, this should be it for this video. Don't forget to leave a like if you like this video. Dislike if you disliked it. Subscribe for more. As always, this is GWA Network signing off. Thank you for watching, stay tuned for more, until next time, don't forget to leave a like if you liked this video, dislike if you disliked it, subscribe for more, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook for more content like this, and as always, thank you for watching, stay tuned for more, until next time, bye.